If you do some live streaming either on YouTube or Facebook live or any other platform, at some point, you're going to need to have a conversation with somebody remotely. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can bring a guest into your live stream, either you stream on YouTube, Facebook live or any other social media platform. And for this, we're going to be using a web browser based streaming platform called EVMAX. And this is going to be 100% free. Obviously, you're going to get a logo or a watermark from EVMAX. If you don't mind the logo, everything's going to be in full HD. So let's not take much time. Let's actually get right into it. So this is the EVMAX platform. Again, if you're not familiar with EVMAX, I would encourage you to watch my video where I show you how you can actually live stream from A to Z. But for this particular session, we're gonna be actually talking about how to bring in a guest in particular. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is this is a dashboard. So you need to go to evmax.com and actually log in, log into your EVMAX account. If it's your first time, you're gonna need to actually sign up and then once you are in EVMAX, this is what the uh, platform will look like. And you need to go to create new project or if you have other sessions already, uh, you can actually use the sessions that you already have. But for the purpose of this video, we're going to cre create a new session and we're going to call it um, guest. OK, and then we're going to go with the single broadcast uh, option and then go to we click go to studio. And this is what the studio is going to look like. Okay, the first thing, obviously, we're gonna need to bring in our camera. So as you can see, I already have my camera in, but I'm gonna show you how you actually do it. So what you need to do is you're gonna go to cam and mic, okay? And then it's gonna give you options to bring in your own camera. So I have multiple cameras uh, connected to my computer, but for the purpose of this video, I'm gonna be using the Blackmagic Design camera. And then I have multiple microphones or audio inputs but for the purpose of this video again i'm gonna be using the line uh, m audio producer microphone and as you can see i have my image and my audio now you have options to bring to do the echo cancellation or noise suppression if you do need them and that's pretty much it and as you can see my camera is showing and we're gonna go ahead and actually add ourselves to the screen and this is what it looks like you get the ev max logo here and you got me on the screen now the next step is we are going to add a guest now what we're gonna do is we're gonna click here where it says invite a guest and as you can see you get a link with an option to send the link by email messenger uh, by gmail messenger or email okay or you can go ahead just copy it and email it to your uh, guest now i'm gonna go ahead and actually paste it into my browser and this is gonna be me kind of mimicking the guest experience and once the guest clicks to this link and this is what they're gonna get okay so this is uh basically they're gonna get an option to click and choose a microphone and for me i'm using another microphone is actually connected so this is what it will look like and they have an option to go here and choose the audio input okay so for now i have another microphone again connected here and they have an option to use the echo cancellation noise suppression and all the you know good stuff and obviously they can mute their microphone they can uh, disable the camera uh, once they are ready they're going to click join broadcast okay uh we forgot to add our name so we're gonna add name so they say guest you know and click join broadcast and boom and on the guest side this is what they are going to see actually so they have they can see all the participants in the session they can see the live feed if you are live uh, they can see they have the option to mute their microphone to disable the camera settings to change their inputs you know camera and mic uh, they can share their screen they can upload a video if they want to share a video with you they can also hide chat or social and as you can see you have they have a way to actually chat with the group or the ch uh, chat with the host here and on the other side here this is where the uh, the comments they're gonna be highlighting in the show they uh, will actually appear so the guests can see the comments if you're highlighting a comment uh you know they need to know especially if the safety have to answer if it's a question they need to answer it they kind of have to say it so this is 
how the guest interface will look like. Then if we go here back in the studio, you can see the guest camera is actually uh, appearing here. <clears throat> so basically what we can do is we can go ahead and add uh let's say our guest to the stream so let's click to add and as you can see this is the guest this is where the guest is gonna appear you can change different layouts you know just do whatever you want if you're sharing a screen and stuff like that and everything is gonna be basically like this so basically this is what it looks like guys this is how you can bring in a guest and you can actually go ahead add the background if you want you can upload your own background here you know just to make sure it looks good so we're gonna go ahead and actually up upload a background here boom and then i can click show and you know again depending on what you're trying to do you know i can have a background just to make sure it doesn't look blank you can customize create something personal from canva or photoshop and it's actually going to appear here and that's pretty much it so uh, again uh, once you're done having your guests you can have more than one guest and what you need to do is you're gonna go ahead and record and add some broadcast channels as well and go live uh, to multiple destinations if you want or to just YouTube or Facebook again this is gonna depend on what you want but this is it this is how you add a guest in EV Max, guys if you want to see the full video I'm gonna link it down below and at the end of this video and that video uh, actually you know goes into details on how you can actually you know add your graphics lower thirds uh tickers but other than that thank you guys for watching and i'll see you on my next video take care